I stayed up late last night to do my first flower arrangement with a chicken wire as a base ever. And I didn't have that, you know, high hope um, about the result. I did this piece in my kitchen where there's not many like, lamps. I didn't have enough light. So it took me an hour or so. It was very peaceful and calming doing it, almost like a meditation or so. And then I brought it in here where I keep my studio lamps and I put the light on and I saw the result and I was just, wow. <laughs> I have been, you know, not shy, but I didn't want to take this step because it looks kind of advanced doing a piece like this. So I have, well, stayed with my bouquets this summer and putting them together and just love doing bouquets. But uh, I couldn't hold back anymore and I wanted to try this so bad. And I happened to have a piece of chicken wire in my outhouse. So I went there and uh, found it and just got started. And before, of course, I had went out in my garden and just picking all the lovely flowers that I grow, both perennials and annuals, and also the edible um, plant parts. So I brought the dahlias, I have the sweet peas, clematis, mm, I think you call it the fall blooming anemones, both the flowers and the foliage. I also have um, the flowering Swiss chard and dill. I shared a picture at Instagram on this. So happy that I, I made it and I got a few questions. So I thought I would show you today how I did it. And starting by telling you all that I am not an expert. This is my first piece and I have learned from like YouTube videos and a few Instagram uh, women that I follow, been so inspired. But since I got the question, I want to show you how I started up this and you, you will do it easily yourself as long as you have the flowers, right? So let's get started. The first thing I did was to create something like a ball from this chicken wire. So I simply did something like this and tried to make it fit into this bowl of glass. I have seen a few videos on YouTube where professionals use like a flor floral tape or florist tape. I don't know exactly the name of it, but since I am a happy amateur, I don't have that kind of things. So I did something similar like this. And um, then I used a lot of uh, like leaves. And I didn't pick at all what I need to like finish this arrangement. It's just to show you the, well, the way I, I worked. So I simply used the chicken wire and put my leaves and everything else into this. You will need a lot of like leaves and foliage. This is really sharing a whole new chapter in my gardening book. I have no clue really what I'm doing, but it's nice to share this kind of thing too. And then I just fill up with other things. So I have uh, uh, the um, leaves here from Cosmos, the Jerusalem artichoke, and the flowering chard. <laughs> you sort of want to hide the 
the front of the bowl. And I, I think I succeeded with that in yesterday's arrangement. And this is great fun because you, you actually go out in your garden and you just see what you can find and what kind of colors um, you prefer. And you just pick whatever and you put it together and it might end up in a beautiful way. It's interesting, you know, when I do these kind of things, gives me so much like respect for people doing this as a profession and I mean god what they know about things Go out in your garden and pick things and just give it a try. It's, it's great fun. I hope all of you understand how easy this was to make. A uh, bowl of glass, uh, chicken wire, foliage, leaves, green things and flowers. You can use uh, like flowers and you can use eatable things. Anything goes from your garden or from your friend's garden <laughs> or whatever. So just go out and pick the flowers and get started. It's great, great fun. And the more effort you put into this, the more beautiful it will look. I am going to do a few more of them, of course. So I hope you got inspired and uh, what you need to get started doing your own flower arrangement from the garden.